Vince Carter, no, dog. Vince Carter confirmed to me that basketball is like Kung Fu. No, My theory no, is dog, correct. Dog, dog. What if NBA players, when they go to China, have just replaced the Kung Fu masters from a previous generation? Welcome to the Hot Pop Boys podcast, where we talk about a variety of things, serious, not as serious. Today, we are going to be diving into a question that we have discussed amongst ourselves so many times. Why do Asians love basketball? Hey, I would say for Chinese and Filipino guys, they almost don't follow anything else. And in Asia, particularly in China and the Philippines, Taiwan, um, basketball is the number one sport. Yeah, and basketball actually, by the way, is gaining it's crazy popularity across the world. I know that soccer in most uh, developing countries is still number one, but in Asia, I think basketball is taking it. Now, by far, I think basketball is taking over China. Yeah. In terms oh, for of sure. Basketball in China. One sport. And basketball in Taiwan recently. Yeah. And then basketball Even now. Even like low-key emer- countries like Singapore and Malaysia, basketball. Yeah. You know, but if you want to talk about the one that's the most popularly international, obviously coming from America, it is basketball. And if you're a kid in Indonesia or Malaysia or whatever, and you know, you want to be what's on trend, it's basketball, yep. NBA, for yep. sure, for sure. Okay, so guys, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about at the end on why it seems like Asians are not that good at basketball despite loving it so much, but we just wanted to establish that yes, Asians do love basketball. There are so many asking this question. Why do Asians love basketball so much? Uh And why do Asian Americans love basketball so much? Whether that you're talking about the JA leagues, the Filipino American leagues, the Chinese American leagues, Korean Olympics. All right, guys. Point number one to why Asians love basketball, especially in China and the Philippines, there's actually a long history of basketball in Asia. Basketball was introduced to the Philippines back in the 1900s by the US Army. In the 1900s, imagine this, basketball was invented in like the late 1800s. That's even before Arizona became a state. And that's also why you meet so many like old Filipino ballers. Cause they oh, have man. You can, shout you, out to all the Titos. Hey. Dude, playing in sandals on the dirt, bro. Dude. Or and, barefoot. Yeah. Or you meet the Philipp- old Filipino baller at the gym and you're like man you can shoot man what and then he's like oh i played like d league pba and you're just like of course no no, no that is true you meet a lot of guys at the gym who tried out for a pro yeah. team in like 1972 you even no, played I, against a pro baller at almanzer park randomly i did yeah 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 a, a pba yeah, mvp a pba mvp he's like the <laughs> Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan of PBA back in the time. <laughs> that was crazy. And then guys, in China, China was, basketball was introduced to China in the 1930s and it was officially endorsed by the prime minister at the time for the contribution to fitness and promotion of teamwork. China has loved basketball. And then especially with the, when Yao Ming came through the league and was successful, it blew up. Well, there's yeah. a lot more teamwork than say like one-on-one Kung Fu, to be honest. Yeah. No, and like it, we, went to a, we went to a Taiwanese run church growing up and after Sundays, they'd always have basketball time, and it was led by all these old Taiwanese guys. Dude, Jeremy Lin's dad loved basketball. Obviously, that helped Jeremy mm-hmm. to become the great basketball player that he is. Right. But like, I want to talk about Japan real quick. See, I know that obviously we're going to get to the Japanese American basketball community in a second. But even in Japan, you know, they've made over ten anime cartoons shows about basketball. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot. So think I wouldn't say that basketball, up. from what I know, is that no, popular no. there. Just the cartoons yeah, are. Yeah, as a yeah, cartoon. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm saying culturally, the idea of basketball is really popular in Japan. Maybe as the sport itself is not widely played as much as it is in China, Taiwan, you know, Philippines. But like, it's just like a popular thing. Like everybody knows what basketball is in Japan, I'm pretty sure. But I will say this, guys, uh, moving on. I mean, I think that obviously, I don't necessarily think like in Japan that it came from Japan to the Japanese Americans per se. I don't necessarily think that's how it worked for their community. I think I, it was just, so. they just been here so long and they use that I, as a- I heard it, they, the JAs that are like fifth gen, you know where they got it from? They got it from white, other white farmers. Ah. Because they were came over as farmers. If you guys know about basketball culture, uh, I think nowadays it's very associated maybe with the inner city and metropolitan yeah. cities. For a while, it was very like Indiana farmhouse Larry Bird. Yeah. That was, and, and yep. still to this day, when you go to places like Indiana, they love basketball. Those, like, like, those the, like farmer white guys, those, they love yeah. basketball. Reason number two why Asians love basketball is 
that there are an infinite number of variations of the game of basketball. You can train by yourself, work on your skills. And that's almost became an industry of itself. Exactly. And you can play one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three is hugely popular, sometimes considered more fun than five-on-five in many cases. You can play four-on-four and of course, five-on-five basketball. I think a lot, initially a lot of people say, oh, Asians, they're not really fit to play basketball. Why do you love basketball so much? You're not the tallest. It's height oriented. yeah. Yeah. But guess what? When you can, when there's different variations of basketball, you get to customize the leagues on how you want. So Mm -hmm. obviously the six foot and under leagues cater to us. I've even heard in certain densely populated uh, Asian areas, five, seven and under leagues. Now think about other sports. There is no such thing. I mean, you don't really hear about a six foot and under soccer league because height is not such a thing where you need to separate it by height. Yeah, well, Messi's like 5'9", and he was considered for a long time the best player in the world. Exactly. And you can adjust the game to how physical you want to play it. You know, if you're playing tackle football, there's kind of like, you can't set that many rules. Like, you can't say, hey, everybody You can't lower down the toe. You can't like, oh, don't hit him that hard, you know? It's It's like- It's tackle football. I know. (laughs) You got to take him down. So, but in basketball, you can kind of measure the level by, you know, hey, don't play as physical. You call it really tight. You have referees. Or, you know, we played ball in Asia before. You're going to call, like, even non-physical fouls. My God, I, I might not uh, well play, man. I it's just, almost like no contact out there. Yeah. I play pickup a lot in Asia, you know, through the traveling and stuff. It's just like every time I'm at the park, I, I would like look at the guy and he'll call a foul on me. I'm like, what? <laughs> I was ha- balling in Hong Kong years back, and then I'm closing out on a guy. I say, shot. Right? Right, right, right. Close out, call shot, did not touch him. <laughs> call foul. And I said, wait, wait. I didn't know it was, you know, I was slight language barrier. You know, I don't speak very good uh, Cantonese. So I was like, yo, yo, what's going on? What, what, what's going on? Everybody stop the game. Said Fang Kui, right? Yeah, Fang Kui. And then I was like, wait, wait, what? Foul? Who? On foul on who? Foul on who? And they're like, on you, you, you. I was like, why? Why? What'd I do? He goes, yo, yell. I was like, yo, yell. That's why NBA today, they took out hand checking because they want to cater towards offensive player where they can score more because people want to see the ball score more. Yeah. So it's like, it's ridiculous. No, it's true. It takes away the whole defensive pride in the game, which is what I pride for sometimes. I just want to like lock this person down. But yeah, whatever. There's so many levels that you could play it at. Like, for example, in the playoffs, theoretically, it's kind of weird because some games don't seem like they're called this way. They let a lot of contact go. Yeah. 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 And then in the regular season, they call the fouls. Yep. Hey, <laughs> real quick, guys. Favorite form of basketball, not five on five or three on three. Horse, bump, jelly contest, dunk contest on a low oh, hoop horse. I, I like one 21. One. I like 21. You like 21? Or two on two. Two on two is fun. Uh, king of the court and just playing on a little hoop. Okay. All right. So how about non like versus game? Sevens shooting game. Okay, shooting game seven. Uh, dunk contest with your friends. Yeah, dunk contest or horse. See, I, I, it's really fun. Like any, a lot of you can do a lot of different things with basketball. Um, and I think that's why Asians like it because you don't have to just play it one way. Listen, if you had to play basketball five on five every time, I think it would discourage a lot of people from playing. It's rare to find a court like that because yeah. even other LA fitnesses in the area, they do not have good five on five. Hey. Can I write a check? <laughs> so it is a privilege to be able to play good five on five. Here's a message to a lot of the people who are horrible at five on five. Um, that's okay. You can be horrible at basketball. It's all good. Please do not come to the gym with a bunch of people who want to play a good five on five and just suck it up. Like if the only time you play basketball is five on five at the gym, ruining other people's games, please just train by yourself or play at the park for a little bit before. Like, all right, guys, reason number three, you can play basketball instantly and anywhere. So meaning that even in places where there's not a lot of basketball culture, all you need is a hoop and a basketball and you can literally start playing right away. I mean, you just need like a a peach basket in in a tree. This is how quick it is to play a game of basketball you walk up to the court hey you guys want to run threes okay sure you're playing literally within 10 seconds of arriving to a court of just random people shooting around you can organize a game we've all seen people jump off the street in in jeans and timberlands you know in new york people balling all types of things i played i've been hooped up by guys in jeans and tims dude how many cops 
walk by courts and start hooping with the people. That's yeah. a popular yeah. thing now. You see a yeah. lot of things, yeah. You see a lot of cops go viral. With people. Yeah. yeah. And some of the cops uh, get got and some of the cops, they get them. There. You yeah. can play on a very small court. You can right. play on a very big court. I love basketball, man. I talk about it so much. You love it so much, you're like zoning it out, thinking about how yeah, much you I'm love just, it. You're I'm not just like, I'm just, like I'm just like appreciating you're basketball, actually, man. It's just like it's just running through your head right my, now. It's like my passion. You know? Even this list about why Asians love basketball is making Nell fall in love with basketball again. I can see it in your eyes, bro. Put the heart emoji. Ding, ding. Hooping. You could even play it in your house. Yes, that's so. how accessible well, it is. Um, you know, just between instant playing, instant scoring, and instant noodles, man. I think Asians love the instant gratification that they get from basketball. Well, Asians have busy lives. They usually have to go study or they have to go work yeah, or they have to go do something for their family. One of those three things. It's really common in the Asian world. Uh, you want to be able to get in, get started, get going and exit. Reason number four why Asians love basketball is that it's a good deal. Basketball infrastructure like we were saying, hoop basketball doesn't cost a lot. Leagues don't cost a lot. Equipment doesn't cost a lot. You don't need really special shoes, really. I mean, basketball shoes help, but you can ball in anything. I remember joining a junior football league even before uh, junior high, like it was an outside league, right? And you needed to sign like four different waivers. You needed to get a helmet, and you didn't get a helmet on the first, or you got a helmet on the first I day, but you, you gotta have, have cleats. I think you, you even have to sign a death waiver. And then you don't get the you get the pads later and then you have all these jerseys and stuff. And then technically you just ball in jeans, right? So I came up with this uh, term called uh, FPM, fun per minute. And uh, I ranked it against just my own metric that I made up, but I ranked it against other sports and basketball, maybe from a biased perspective comes in number one. Oh, wow. <laughs> easily, easily. I would say the only other thing that's comparable uh, is soccer, right? But the thing about soccer is there's way less scoring, way more running, and it's actually really not popular in America yeah. unless you're like a suburban white Anything kid. that moves really fast and it's like constant action, you know, it's, it's pretty fun. But obviously, like you said, soccer, yeah. when you don't score that much, it's not that fun. And it is true. Soccer and basketball, I would say as far as speed up and down, it is the most comparable. But right, right. you don't score as many goals. It's super hard to score in soccer. Right. And there's way more running. Think about it. In 10 minutes, you break a sweat, score basketball, meet someone new. Highly engaging activity, basketball. Hey, uh, fifth reason why Asians love basketball is that it's not brutal. I said brutal. brutal. <laughs> it's not brutal. Brutal. Kind of right brutal. A, kind of right a check. Yeah, it's not a brutal. Uh, it's not a. It's not that physical. Check. It's not a physical. <laughs> it's not brutal. It's not a brutal sport. Listen, basketball can be physical. Obviously, sometimes people get hurt. Sometimes people get in fights. But it's really not a brutal sport. It's not like you intend to be brutal. But, yeah. Unless you catch that uh, punch, you Rudy Tom Jonovich, and you catch that punch. Yeah. yeah. Or you catch the Tom punch Tom. from... Uh, or you get choked out. Asians in general, culturally, are not super into brutality, whether it's rugby, football, or even really brutal fighting styles. But think about the other sports that Asians like to play that are popular amongst Asians. And, you know, Asians love tennis, ping pong, badminton. soccer, badminton, swimming. Martial arts. Martial arts. Now, obviously, martial arts, the most brutal of them all. And then basketball, right below martial arts. But you never heard of Asians, you never heard of anybody losing brain cells shooting a free throw. That's why Asians love basketball, because <laughs> it's physical enough, but it's not too physical. Reason number six why Asians love basketball is you can build a really strong community around basketball. Sports in general is a great way to bring people together. There's church leagues. There's- uh, Family functions. Family leagues. There's there's ethnic leagues. But you know, for especially a lot of minorities in America, when you seek community, now whether that's through church or a sports league, you end up setting up sports leagues. And then of course, of the sports that are a team sport that's very social and fun to play for everybody, basketball is probably the number one choice basketball is a team community sport it's very social everybody talks with each other it's very you you can meet a lot of people through it um and it's fun so for a lot of minorities especially most notably in america the japanese american you know community it's been a long 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 standing uh part of it there's like nationals throughout the whole country you know whether it's you no know, for chinese leagues or like korean leagues like there's korean nationals you know chinese nationals pbl yeah so it's like, it's crazy. Like it's globally, you know, networking everybody from like yeah. everywhere. Like, is it crazy? Guys, there's actually things called the Korean Olympics and Chinese Olympics where it's just a bunch of like Chinese guys competing yeah. against other Chinese guys. I remember guys Rich was like, I don't think the Viet churches got basketball leagues, but if they did, ooh, <laughs> I'm, 
in there. Yeah. And you know, even like uh, Cameron House back in San Francisco, which is the, the center uh, community hub of Chinatown, they have that most famous, one of the most famous Pursuit basketball courts court, yeah. in, the, in America, is sitting on top of Cameron House Shout in Chinatown. House. It kind of also, so basketball can be very democratic as in everybody can score, everybody can get the ball. It can also equally be just as selfish, which I think plays into the Asian-ness too. So there's Asians who are like, yo, pass it 10 times, pass it 10 times, everybody gets the ball. Uh, even the trash, most trash person on the team. It has to touch it, has to touch it. Yeah, even the most trash person on the team can touch the ball and hit a shot. Or it can be dominated by one person. So basketball, very social sport, great for community building. Love it. Uh, all right, guys, number seven reason why Asians love basketball. Basketball has an uncanny resemblance to kung fu, man. Like, and martial arts in general. Yeah, you look, facts, you, you look like it when you play. Exactly. <laughs> me, particularly me. I know. <laughs> more, more than us. Yeah. More. <laughs> you know, between even the swift moves of Derrick Rose, Vince Carter, Kyrie, yeah, Derek is Derek cool. and Jordan flying through the air. I mean, look at Vince Carter after he dunked. He would be like, Dude, there's so much resemblance Kobe to Kobe too. Up yeah. and under this, you know? Up and unders, like wax on, wax off, like layups. I mean, I if mean, you look at that Gary Harris jelly he just had on Portland, that doesn't look like Kung Fu. Come on, you telling uh, me up and under. You telling me someone jumping through the air. Come yeah, Gary Harris doing that doesn't look like some move from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Or you're talking about James no, White jumping from the free also, throw line. Also, I'd say that one, like that Derek Jr., Derek Jones Jr. Uh, throw in alley-oop this year, that looks a little bit like this one Shaolin move where yeah. you jump so Was high and then the you air. kick on their head. Yeah. and then Oh, there's kicking in oh. basketball. Or uh, Draymond. Draymond kicking uh, Steven Adams in the nuts. Yeah. Because right, in basketball, you use the same limbs and muscles that you do in martial arts in a way. Yeah. There's running, jumping, kicking, punching, some type of hand Blocking. Movement. Yeah. Do you think dribbling through two defenders and going up to dunk is not kind of like an attack? Kind of. If you think about it this way, this is my thing. All right, so you think about martial arts. Like, you have a goal, right? The goal is to hit their face, you know, oftentimes. Just like you have a goal that you look up to in basketball, you try to put the ball in. So it's kind of like the same, similar things where you just got to get through whoever you can and do whatever you can, block. Cut through, dribble through, whatever it is, jump to, to get that goal. And well, whatever you do to hit this person in the face, it's the same thing. Especially when I watch like Kung Fu forms or Wushu, where it's so acrobatic in the air. There are certain players that remind me so much of that. It looks like you're doing those Kung Fu forms, but against actual people that are trying to stop you. To dodge Cause when, people. Because when you're doing the form, just like figure skating, it's not that you're not spinning through the air, but there's nobody trying to knock you on your ass while you're spinning through the air. In basketball, there's somebody really waiting to check you if they yeah. can. Hey, think about or it. Or even just doing a spin move with the ball. Yeah. yeah. Or even just running around. No, using someone else's pressure and power and redirecting it, it's kind of like judo, where you know how you pull the chair under people sometimes when you play defense? Someone's back in down on you, you just let them go and use their momentum against them. Or like a swim yeah. through? Yeah, it's just like judo, bro. Like. You're just, and you're using your off arm to hook people. Oh, that, you're great at that, man. Well, <laughs> yeah. There's so many movies or like skits about Shaolin basketball, actually. There's a movie called Shaolin basketball. Yup. So it's very, it's, it's, you're using very similar movements and body parts. Think about it. James Harden is playing with a bloody eyeball because Draymond Green poked him in the eye. In martial arts, they, people are not doing today. Hey, how you dodge it? Uh, I got a chance to sit down uh, with Vince Carter, one of my favorite players of all time. And I got to ask him a couple questions. Two, I asked him, uh, one, what else do you want to be known for other than dunking? And he says, I think I'm a really good passer. I was like, okay, yeah, I think you're an underrated passer. And then I said, yo, Vince, what do you think about basketball being compared to Kung Fu? And he goes, nah, nah, you're right. You're right, it is. It's very similar. Like this, move. nah, nah, you're right. You're right, it is. It's very similar. Carter, no, dog. Vince Carter confirmed to me that basketball is like Kung Fu. No, My theory no, dog, is correct. Dog, dog. What if NBA players, when they go to China, have just replaced the Kung Fu masters from a previous generation? That's facts. We gonna end the video right there? To the number eight, the last eight, number eight reason why Asians love basketball. Bothole. Bot is because oh, wow. Asians love brands, and also the NBA particularly has the 
coolest cachet to it. No, Guys, no, NBA no. players are the most in the brand names, most in the fashion. They're the flashiest. They're the most famous. Well, J.R. Yeah. Smith got a Supreme yeah. tattoo. They got the biggest personalities. Uh, they wear the most Supreme. Asians love Supreme. Asians love LV. NBA players also no, love all these NBA brands, too. NBA players are hype beasts. Doc. Yeah. They wear hella, you know, hype beast shoes, you Doc, know? I always say this. The people who are buying Off-White and LV and Gucci is really like NBA players, rappers, yeah. rich, rich Asian immigrants, you know, or just rich Asians, rich Asians in general. So that was eight reasons why Asians love basketball. And we know Asians love basketball. I'm not saying every single Asian loves basketball. Uh, in the comments below, let us know if you guys agree with it. If there's any reasons that we left out, let us know too. Let me know if you agree with the theory of basketball and Yo, Kung real food. quick, why do you think, despite the love of basketball from the Asian community, there's not a very high percentage of Asians playing high level basketball? Globally, yeah. what they you know they put themselves down like like you said they think they're not good themselves you know they don't give themselves a chance to begin with. Okay. Obviously, part of it is genetic in the sense that Asians are generally a little bit shorter, their hands and their arms aren't as disproportionately long or big. If that's why wingspan is such a huge thing in basketball. Asians right. will admire basketball more than they'll even train to be good at it themselves because they don't view it statistically as a viable career path there's yeah not a lot of asian coaches and mentors that will coach asian kids legitimately okay i, I think a lot of people just play for fun and just don't take it that seriously yeah. because when it gets too serious maybe they feel like it takes the fun out of it all other five of your friends can suck but if you're playing three and three with your friends you're gonna have fun thank you everybody for watching that video on the eight reasons why asians love basketball and yes we even threw in a little bit of talk at the end about why asians might not be as good at basketball as they'd like to be relative to their love relative to their love um so guys thank you so much for watching that i hope that was a really fun discussion uh that was really fun for us let me know in the comments below if there's any reasons we left out of why you think asians love basketball of what if you agree with our points maybe basketball and martial arts very similar all right guys thank you so much for watching that this is nelson chamber hoop and life he is a asian hooper and dunker that's david Fung from the Fung Bros, Andrew from the Fung Bros, guys. That was eight reasons why Asians love basketball. And by the way, you guys, don't you can come in and say we don't know what we're talking about. We follow this stuff close. We've worked with the NBA. I've been to the NBA Finals. Validate. I'm just saying, we it's valid. valid. It's valid. We valid for right. sure. It's valid. Valid, legit, valid. Whatever you want to call it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys. We out. Peace. Peace. Na 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 na